Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best power supply for PC gaming in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 6. Fractal Design Ion SFX650 Gold More and more of the best power supply brands have expanded into the small form factor category recently, an area that has started to garner much greater interest from gamers too. A few years ago, SFF PS use were niche products, but the introduction of elegant small chassis, and the desire for smaller systems, have increased the competition in this category. The first brand that took the SFF PS use seriously was Silverstone, which has the richest related products portfolio. Fractal, meanwhile, had nothing to show in this category until it launched these SFX Gold units. However, using the term SFX isn't accurate since both Fractal's Ion units follow the unofficial SFXL form factor Silverstone first introduced. Because of the larger than SFX depth, by 30mm, SFXL units allow for larger cooling fans and better airflow. That means they can have more relaxed fan speed profiles and be quieter than their standard SFX counterparts. On top of that, the larger PCBs allow for higher capacity units, too, up to 1000W. The Ion SFX 650G advantages over its Corsair SFX adversary are the larger, 120mm fan because it follows the SFXL format, along with the highly flexible modular cables, which indeed make a difference during the cable routing and installation processes. Moreover, you will find an SFX to ATX adapter bracket in its bundle, which will come in handy if you want to use this PSU along with an ATX chassis. Number 5. Corsair AX1600i. The Corsair AX1600i was the first desktop PSU to use its cutting-edge power supply technology, but even several years after its initial release, few other PSUs utilize it. In short, the AX1600i uses a totem pole PFC converter, utilizing GAN MOSFETs, which can offer up to 99% efficiency compared to the 96% efficiency levels that the most advanced conventional APFC converters can deliver. Okay, those are the technical details, but what you really need to know is that this is about as efficient as power supplies get. Besides the totem pole PFC, the AX1600i also uses two digital signal controllers to manage its circuits. A single microcontroller is the communications bridge between the system and the PSU, allowing users also to control some vital functions of the PSU, for example, the fan speed profile and the selection between multiple and single plus 12V rails, setting up the OCP limits, etc., besides monitoring tasks. The AX1600i is the worthy successor of the legendary AX1500i. Both units are made by Flextronics, using cutting-edge technology while offering the best performance that money can buy today, thanks to their digital platform. Besides being highly efficient, the AX1600i also offers outstanding load regulation, excellent transient response, long hold-up time, and excellent ripple suppression. Despite its high capacity, it remains impressively quiet in operation, thanks to the relaxed fan profile and a high-quality FDB fan. Finally, using the Corsair Link software, you're able to choose between three fan modes, performance, balanced, and quiet, so every user will be able to set the PSU according to his or her needs. You will pay a lot to get your hands on a Corsair AX1600A, but there is nothing else able to meet this PSU eye to eye when it comes to overall performance. Number 4. XPG Core Reactor 650W XPG rocked the boat with its core reactor line, an impressive set of PSUs using a competent platform provided by Channel Well Technology. XPG took the company's CSE platform and ensured it had exclusive rights, so you won't see another OEM using CSE. So far, only major PSU brands like Corsair and Be Quiet have exclusive rights in OEM platforms, so with this move, XPG shows that it has serious intentions for the best power supply market. The XPG core reactor with 650W capacity must face strong opponents, such as the Corsair RM650X, the Seasonic GX650, and the Asus ROG Strix 650. Still, it manages to lead the race, and this is impressive. 
Especially as XPG hasn't been such a power in this market historically, it has apparently hired the proper people for the job. The Core Reactor 650 doesn't only achieve high performance, but it is dead silent too, with close to 23 dBA average noise output. Moreover, its average efficiency with 115V is close to 89.5%, leading to the Gold 650W efficiency category. Another significant advantage of this PSU is the compact footprint, which will make the installation process more manageable. The fully modular cables will also help in this too. Speaking of the cables, they don't have inline capacitors, making cable routing harder than it has to be. The only real drawback in this unit is the pair of EPS connectors hosted on the same cable. Usually, EPS connectors should be installed on dedicated cables for lower voltage drops and enhanced safety, but the platform didn't provide enough sockets for this. Number 3. Corsair CX450. The lowest capacity member of Corsair's budget-oriented CX line is the CX450. All CX models are manufactured by two different OEMs, either Great Wall or Channel Well Technology, and each of which uses a distinct platform. The only way to tell them apart is their RPS numbers, reference designators given to each model. Both configurations have fixed cables to keep the price as low as possible. Nonetheless, they utilize modern platforms featuring LLC resonant converters and voltage regulation modules to generate minor rails and high-quality fans. It is rare to find such a modern platform in this price range. The weirdest part is that the Corsair CXM units, which feature semi-modular cables so someone could believe that they belong to a higher category, actually use a lower performance platform. Between the two Corsair CX450 versions, the model made by Great Wall is more efficient than CWTs, especially under light loads, and has a more efficient 5 VSB rail. On the other hand, it has a more aggressive fan profile, so its noise output increases. In the US market, you will only find the CWT version made in Vietnam instead of China, so it avoids the tariffs and keeps its price tag low. In other regions, the GW platform is also available. In general, the Corsair CX450, in both flavors, offers a high performance per price ratio, and it is an excellent choice for mainstream builds with embedded or low-power graphics cards. In this price range, you won't find such a modern and capable platform. Number 2. Seasonic Prime Titanium TX-1000 Seasonic hit the jackpot with its Prime platform, which starts from gold efficiency and goes all the way up to titanium. Several high-impact brands have already used Seasonic's base platform in their own PS use, including Asus with its ROG Thor 1200W, Corsair's AX line, and Antec with its legendary signature line. If Seasonic could make more of these units, I would expect more brands to get in line to source them, despite their high prices. The majority of buyers prefer low efficiency and more affordable power supplies, unfortunately. Still, when an OEM is confident enough to provide a platform with a 12-year warranty, you know that this is a bulletproof product. The Seasonic TX-1000 is a great power supply featuring top-notch build quality. Besides great soldering work, it also uses Japanese capacitors everywhere, including many polymer caps besides electrolytic ones and a fluid dynamic bearing fan. Seasonic's engineers did their best to offer sky-high efficiency under all load regions and silent operation, at the same time, along with increased reliability. Performance-wise, this PSU belongs to the top league since it achieves tight load regulation on all rails, it has terrific ripple suppression without using the annoying inline caps, and its hold-up time is great. On top of that, the 5 VSB rails efficiency is high, and at light loads, the PSU achieves some of the highest efficiency readings we have seen so far. Another asset of the TX-1000 is that it has 6 PCIe connectors on dedicated cables. You won't have a problem powering energy-hungry graphics cards where the use of a single cable with 2 PCIe connectors should be avoided. Number 1. Corsair RM750X the time has come for Corsair to make some changes to its popular RMX line of power supplies since the competition has gotten far tougher in this market segment from the likes of Seasonic Focus GX, XPG Core Reactor, Super Flower Lidex V, etc. Advertisement
Indeed the task's not easy since the existing RMX units only counted three years in production and delivered excellent performance along with dead silent operation. In most cases, when you try to improve something already good, many things can wrong, but thankfully, this wasn't the case for the new Corsair RMX range. The new Corsair RMX line consists of five models with capacities ranging from 550W to 1000W, and the main differences with the previous models are Magnetic levitation fan for an increased lifetime under high operating temperatures Modern standby compatibility for fast wake from sleep times High efficiency under light and very light loads 3 EPS connectors with 1000W and 850W PS use 80 plus gold certifications The new RM750X has a significant performance lead over its predecessor Although it loses average noise output to the older model's dead silent operation Still you cannot call the new model noisy because it achieves a cybernetics A rating, with its average noise output being close to 28 dBA. The only area that needs a slight improvement is the efficiency under high loads, which is the main reason for the not-so-competitive average efficiency. Nonetheless, the efficiency under light loads is sky-high. Finally, the fan upgrade is a highly welcome feature. It boosts reliability, even under harsh conditions where most rifle and fluid dynamic bearing fans would have issues in the long run. With two EPS and four PCIe connectors in two cables, this PSU will be able to handle a powerful gaming system with enough oomph to cope with a GeForce RTX 3080.